Hey, hey, cats and chicks, we're not only back, we are way, way back with someone really, really special and who happens to be a really longtime fan of Offbeat Cinema, who, by the way, is a legend in music, bass player from the Minutemen, Cats, Mike Watt. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thanks for having me aboard. I'm so glad to be sitting here next to you, brother. Uh, you know, uh, when we got the call that you were coming through town, I said, we got to hook up with this man. But, you know, I did a little check-in, and I looked into uh, uh, the Wik Wikipedia, which everything is true on Wikipedia, right? <laughs> uh, but, you know, you did the Minutemen, and, you know, you had a moment. We lost a good friend yeah. in D. Boone. But uh, since then, you've been in about 20 or 30 bands. Mike, yeah. do you have a little tr trouble keeping a job? No, no, no. Life's a classroom. I gotta keep learning. Ah, oh, I love it, baby. Uh, what, what drew you to keep an eye on us at Offbeat Cinema? Oh yeah, big inspiration, and it links to that cat you were talking about. We lost because we would share with uh, these uh, incredible movies and stuff. You had to have somebody to help bring you aboard with uh, tangential information because there wasn't. A Wikipedia yet, so these cats would come on, and this one in particular was Seymour, and uh, yeah, his creature features, Fright Night, that kind of thing, and uh, yeah, it gave a, another dimension on these uh, B movie trip out. Well, we're, that's what we're trying to do is uh, give give away another dimension. But you also know, like Seymour, also had some movie dumb experience. <laughs> oh yeah, of course. <laughs> and Crepple too had a transplant. Well, we're gonna we're gonna certainly dig that one up in the uh, offbeat cinema vaults. But uh, you know, you're you're here with this uh, incredibly cool uh, uh, angular. Uh, I don't even know what to call it. But you know, I I listened to your sound check, yeah. and I finally thought, that's the music I've been hearing in my head for all these years. Yeah. Okay. We're bringing it to the now. Uh, bringing it to the now. So. What were, what were some of the times uh, between Minutemen and now that uh, you could really want to remember from being on stage with who and what and what'd you do that you loved oh, well, the most? Oh, well, 126 months of Stooges. Oh. Finally the youngest guy in the band. <laughs> but also, we wouldn't have had our movement without that band. And so, how much stuff is second, third hand? I got to go right to the well. Man, what was that like playing with those guys? It was a every moment. I owed them everything I could bring up in... Uh, it was just, they'd go by like a second, like that, you know, but uh, probably the hardest work I've ever done, because I really wanted to do good for them. I mean, their their stuff is like, whoa, whoa. I mean, foundation. Foundation for sure, baby. Foundation for sure. Maybe go back one click to the Velvets, but yeah, oh, yeah. Iggy took it to a whole nother level with the Stooges. He told me he was uh, inspired by them. Yeah, it's a beautiful time. thing. So, and John Cale produced the first record. That's right, and he was with and and you know John Cale has another yeah. connection to Buffalo. Yeah. And his partner in the uh, Eternal Music Society was yeah. Tony Conrad, That's right. who spent the last days of his life, the last 25 years of his life, right here at Buffalo teaching. Oh man, beautiful. beautiful. Buffalo man. Yeah. The center of the universe. Would you say? The major connect. Well, we got a legend here on base. We have another legend right here in Buffalo that he knows, uh, Mr. Billy Sheehan. Oh, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. And Mr. Kale did some bass for the Velvets. He did, yeah. he did, he did. viola it, too. It, and Tony played the viola. So what about your band tonight? What are... Yeah, right. Well, it's actually Mike Baguetta's band. We got the Stephen Hodges on the drums. And it's called Main Steam Stop Valve because there's a great movie called that me and D. Boone's favorite. Uh, Sam Pebbles, Steve McQueen, 1966. Oh, that, that's a and that's wow. from the movie? Yeah, well, I, well, it's from the movie because I didn't know there was a book until I was helping the porno for Pyro guy. It's trippy about oh, bass. Harry. <laughs> yeah. He's a, I learned a lot from him. I'm still learning from him. <laughs> <laughs> He's a tripper. I just felt like Perry's a guy that I could relate to really, yeah. really well. I said, Mike, keep the child's eye on wonder. Oh, that's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Well, man, I, I am just so uh, turned inside out in a most beautiful way, sitting here next to you, talking to you, and hearing some of your years and beauty and wisdom. Thank yeah. you very much, brother. Oh, thank you right back, bro. But you know what we got to do? What's that? We got to remember to keep watching the skies. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just keep watching the skies. Whoa. You see that? Yeah.